That chopper could not be in safer hands. Incoming. <gasps> The success of last year's GoldenEye for the Wii, Activision and Eurocom have gone back to the drawing board to deliver a version for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Does this remake of a remake have enough firepower for HD systems, or is Reloaded tantamount to playing with the safety on? If it wasn't clear from the shadowy mugshot, this isn't Brosnan's GoldenEye. The story features a new cast, new settings, and new motivations, modernizing the basic premise of a deadly satellite weapon falling into the hands of terrorists. The Daniel Craig version of Bond sadly eschews gadgets like the laser watch in favor of an ever-present smartphone, but there are some great Bond moments nonetheless. From the infamous leap off the dam to driving a tank through St. Petersburg and beyond, Reloaded's campaign takes you through the same big moments over the course of its six to eight hour span. Like the N64 classic, Changing Difficulty provides additional objectives to missions you've already solved, like rescuing hostages or taking spy photos. Reloaded extends the experience beyond the Wii version by including hidden emblems to shoot in each level and a new mode called MI6 Ops. This series of challenges tests your abilities in eliminating enemies, defending objectives, or sneaking through areas undetected, but the extra scenarios do little to hold your attention. <laughs> Multiplayer consists of 13 modes across 14 maps. There are the typical deathmatch, capture and control modes, as well as a version of gun game called Escalation, which progresses you through a hierarchy of the game's weapons. Heroes mode gives extra perks to a random player cast as a star like Bond or Uramov, and the N64-inspired Golden Gun makes a return, putting players on the hunt for the one-hit wonder. Unfortunately, the game suffers from connection issues and a low install base, making it difficult to find anyone to play with outside of the most popular game types. GoldenEye balances gunplay with stealth, encouraging you to sneak up on guards and take them out with a melee attack or silenced pistol. If you're spotted, you'll have to contend with a crack team of reinforcements, and most levels feature ventilation shafts or other side routes to help you slip through undetected. Other moments rely on using Bond's smartphone to identify a contact or hack turrets, and occasional quick time events are sprinkled in during cinematic moments. PlayStation Move support works well, but isn't quite up to par with the Wii controls, lacking motion-based melee attacks and the ability to lean around corners. Reloaded's biggest issue, however, is the huge drop in difficulty. Gunfights that involve careful use of cover and watching your flank are now just a matter of running through and dropping everyone in sight. The AI hardly seems to fight back, and the few difficulty spikes that do come are simply a matter of overwhelming numbers. The visuals are certainly a step up from the Wii version, with more detail on some characters' faces, added texture effects, and fully modeled crowds and spots like the nightclub. Still, there's no mistaking the source material, as the overall look of the game doesn't measure up to HD standards. In all, GoldenEye 007 Reloaded is a surprising step back for a game that we thoroughly enjoyed on Wii. Much of what made it great hasn't changed, but the minor extras and improved visuals come at the price of online frustration and gunplay that's undeniably dumbed down. Protecting Queen and Country. GoldenEye 007 Reloaded is coming out on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, and this is the first time that you know a GoldenEye game has been developed for a high def system, so there that was the choice for the platforms. I think um, you know from the story point of view, it'd be familiar to the Wii game as we, we took the story that we updated in 2010 for the Wii game, brought it to this game, but we've obviously gone back and revisited all the levels and you know, updated them entirely, you know, in terms of geometry, textures and animation, audio. Um, we've also added, you know, a single player, a new single player element to the game, which is MI6 Ops, which is entirely new and was not seen on the Wii platform. So the stealth mission is obviously about using your your spy skills, so stealth takedowns and you know silenced weapons, also some of your gadgets like your phone, and they're kind of more puzzly. Whereas and the last one we have is Wave Defense, so that that's kind of more tactical and it's about defending computer consoles while you're downloading information. So again, you you, you can get to scout the map out, check out which you think is the easiest console because the waves get harder and harder. As the game progresses so there's really something for everyone if you're if you're somebody who likes to sit in there and defend an area then you can play wave defense if you like to go all out attack then you can play elimination the other thing that's really cool about mi6 ops is that all of those missions have leaderboards attached to them so when you
when you play them, you post a score to the leaderboard so you can see where you're you're faring against the rest of the community and you can filter them for things like your friends. Um, and then the last thing is we've added a challenge designer. So you can take the challenges that were designed by the level designers at Eurocom and actually play around with some of the modifiers in there to create your own versions. And this allows you to post even higher scores to the leaderboard. Now MI6 Ops definitely unlocks in, 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 in tiers. So when you start, you'll have access to like, you know, three star missions. And then as you progress, you get um, different medals and that allows you to unlock different missions as you progress through. The AI system has been rewritten with the engine from the ground up, so that's a new system. So you will definitely see, you know, new AI behaviours. They won't necessarily, you won't necessarily be able to predict what AI are going to do based on whether you played the Wii version. Um, but yeah, so there are there are some changes, but it, it essentially playing through the same story and visiting the same locations and seeing the same characters that you knew from the the Wii game. Natalia Simonova, I'm a computer engineer. We've benefited from our, our work on, on, the, on the Wii platform with the Move Control, so we, we, you know, we're very confident that we can deliver a great solution with, with the Move and the Sharpshooter. Um, and we've given you more ways to play the game, which is always a good thing with, with our games, and, and certainly something that we've done with the, the Gold Nine in the past is to provide different controllers for players. Well, the multiplayer is going to be 16 player online now, so that's the first time a GoldenEye game has been, you know, those number of players. We're also looking at adding new maps, new modes, um, new classic characters and new weapons. We're not really talking about specifics at this time, you know, we'll be discussing more about that further down the line. But uh, rest assured, we're looking at creating some modes that are, you know, more, more lean towards the spycraft, espionage style of, of, of gameplay as opposed to team deathmatch and, and, you know, those kind of things, which we'll definitely have, but we, we also want to do some more things with the whole, the fact that, you know, you're playing as Daniel Craig's Bond, he is a spy, so that we want to do that in multiplayer. When you're working on Bond games, you get used to the, 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 the franchise and, you know, what, what makes Bond a great character, so working on it time and time again helps you make better and better Bond games, so that, that, that shadow of a doubt is, is, is important. But yeah, we did we did look at you know feedback from the Wii game, and we've done things like with, with stealth. I think some people um, didn't realise when they were breaking stealth and getting spotted by AI. So we've done things like add add uh, some more information to the HUD to to let you know when you're you've alerted someone, so you can potentially take them out before all hell breaks loose. So we we've, we've certainly uh, l listened to feedback that we received from the Wii game and, and tweaked things accordingly. Golden Eye as a story is very very popular, and obviously the games have always been very popular. So. Um, there is a lot of hunger out there for it, so you, you never know. I don't know. We, we're, we're at the moment we're concentrating on making Goldeneye 007 Reloaded the best game we, we can we can make. So that's that's our primary focus now. Um, Goldeneye 007 Reloaded is coming out this fall. You know, I did think about asking you to join my little enterprise, but your loyalty was always to the mission.